Let's talk about the menstrual cycle and how our brains differ in the follicular versus the luteal phase of the cycle. Our body sort of works together to coordinate two distinct sets of activities that are necessary for reproduction each month. And those two sets of activities are sex, right, which of course is required for reproduction. And then the second half is pregnancy. And so our brain and our whole body sort of gears together within the course of a single menstrual cycle to work together to solve each one of these two problems. So during this time when estrogen is the dominant hormone, our brain and our body is all working together to do everything that's necessary to attract mates, to be able to better tell the difference between high and low quality mates. There's a lot of reward value in rewarding things like social activities and potential partners and women tend to have higher sexual desire. And so that's the first half of the cycle, the first 14 days when estrogen is the dominant hormone and estrogen coordinates activities related to sex and attraction. And then after an egg is released and that empty egg follicle starts releasing women's second primary sex hormone, which is progesterone, that is when women's bodies are gearing up for all of the activities that are required for implantation and for pregnancy. Right. And this, this is a totally different set of activities. 